so there seems to be a lot of fans of the old arcade systems out there. So I thought I'd get you up here and run with a Thomas Wave today. So this one's quite a simple one. So what we're going to do first is just go into the RetroBat directory, open file location, and literally the only BIOS file you're going to need to get this one up and running is titled awbios.zip. And you don't need to extract this one. It's literally just going to be how it is, as you can see on screen here. So we need to go into the BIOS folder in the RetroBat directory. And you're going to find the DC folder, which is Dreamcast, obviously. So if you just open up this one and drag in that awbios.zip inside here. And if we back out of here and then simply go down to ROMs, you're going to find an Atomis Wave folder, which is just here. Just drag your game inside of here, and Atomis Wave through RetroBat are going to accept .zip files. So that's pretty simple. So if we just open up RetroBat now, we're going to see Atomis Wave appear, and it's as simple as that. So we can check out which cores we got on RetroBat for Atomis Wave by going to View Options, Advanced System Options, emulator so i find through testing that if i just leave this to auto which is normally going to just go straight into flycast they run perfectly fine but if there is a game which doesn't work then obviously change it over to demuel a thomas wave so for this i'm going to just leave it as auto and i'm going to just press x on my ps3 controller and that's going to take us straight into the game so as we can see i've got bezels enabled but we can disable these and straight out of the box it's working fine with my controller and i'm pressing select button to insert my credits it's working all fine let's go out of here and if i go into view options advanced system options we can play around as always with some of the screen settings so for example you've seen the atomis wave arcade cabinet bezel i've got i can change this by going to directions to decorations if i go to none that's going to take away that bezel and if you want a stretched image then just simply go to game aspect ratio and go to 16 by 9 and if you want a more blurry less pixelation image then integer scaling is the option to turn on vertical sync is always it's going to reduce that screen tear so it doesn't hurt to put yes in this case and internal resolution is just going to boost up the resolution. So in this case, I'm going to just go up to 1920 by 1440p. Let's give that one a go. Let's go back in the Dolphin Blue and see how this works now. I've changed those settings. So there we go. So of course, I've enabled integer scaling. So it's not completely full screen like I selected, but it's condensed it like integer scaling does. And it's gave it a more condensed look. So let's go back out of here and go back into view options. If I go to advanced system options again, if I go to visual rendering, I've got lots of different textures I can mess around with here. Texture enhancements. So let's put this up to six times. Now, remember, when you're playing around with visual rendering, that type of thing, it's going to be very draining on your computer hardware. So if it starts lagging, then obviously go back to these type of settings and start tweaking things. Start going down rather than up. So anastrophic filtering, I'm going to put the four times. So let's just push my luck a little bit. And if I go into view options, advanced system options, in this time, internal resolution, I'm going to boost up to the max. And under visual rendering, I'm going to go to anastrophic filtering and boost this one up to 16 times. Let's just see if this one makes a great deal of difference. So open up Dolphin Blue.
And as we can see there, it looks really good. But just be mindful that the more you increase the enhancements, uh, things like the background, the sky, the clouds are going to look a bit more pixelated because it's giving it that much more definition. So that's it for my retro bat and the Thomas Wave tutorial. It's one I've not covered and I'm aware that there's a lot of fans for that era of arcade gaming. So follow me on social media and also subscribe and hit notifications so you get content as I upload it onto my channel. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.